Hello, I'm Abia Exercise and welcome back to the Minecraft update video. So as you all do know, 1.6 released yesterday and the primary feature found in this update is the phantoms. And phantoms have one really strange quirk about them that you might not be aware of and it is to do with how they affect the hostile mob spawn cap. If you don't know, there is a limit to how many hostile mobs can be spawned in a Minecraft world at any given time. Interestingly enough though, phantoms count towards this spawn cap but yet they can go above it. So phantoms will stop other mobs from spawning if you've reached the spawn cap already. However, phantoms can spawn in any amount, like no matter no matter how many mobs you've got in your world already, phantoms can continuously spawn, and uh, this is presumably to make it so that you can't hide from phantoms by just maxing out the spawn cap, but it does have one rather interesting ramification that at some point there might be too many phantoms and it might break your you know, world limits. If you don't kill the phantoms that are over your head, you might run into some issues, and I figured that would make a perfect opportunity for me to tell you how to test how many phantoms your various platform, world, console, whatever, can support with a simple bit of redstone and creative, uh, just so you can see exactly how many phantoms can spawn in your world, before you notice notable performance decreases. So this is gonna be kind of a fun video, mostly because I like breaking Minecraft with too many mobs. You can like it if you do like it though, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do enjoy seeing this sort of thing too. Let's see exactly how many phantoms it takes to break the world limit. So if you don't know, we have a bit of redstone right here. It goes around on a one second timer. So every one second, it sends out a redstone pulse in a little circle like this. And uh, we've got two things set up next to it, a simple command block, which just says summon phantom. So every single time a redstone hits that, we summon a phantom. And then we've got a dropper, which every single time this is here, we'll put one of its sea pickles into this chest. I've also then got a thing to restock the sea pickles so it continuously goes through. But basically, for every single sea pickle we have in this chest, we'll also have a phantom summoned and we can see exactly the point where phantoms start going from like, this is crazy to look at, to oh my god, we're actually starting to break the world. So this should be kind of fun, I think. Let's just very quickly do it and let's, let's see exactly how many phantoms it takes to break the world. So four phantoms, I mean like, the interesting thing by the way is that phantoms don't really care too much about each other's behaviors, like they'll lock onto me as a player, but they don't really care that there's so many other ones up there, so they'll just start to do this. And yeah, you can see 12 phantoms, still not a problem. Having 15 phantoms, as long as there's no other mobs, you can see there's nothing. But the interesting thing about this is it's a great opportunity to see where your limits lie because there's often a very precise amount. So just to confirm that it is in fact working, here's my chest and you can see there's 32 phantoms, 33, 34, and that about matches the number you're seeing in the sky right now. Pretty basic system. Again, there's way better counters, there's way more complex things. I just wanted to make the most simple way to show you how this one does work. So uh, yeah, the, but the interesting thing is that if you wanna have a Minecraft world, you need to be sure of where your limits do lie because the difference between the game running fine, perfectly like it is right now with 50 or so phantoms and the difference between it running at one FPS, breaking the game, making it almost impossible to even you know get away from that to turn on peaceful, it's often very little because Minecraft tends to have a breaking point. Everything runs fine, uh, compromises are being made somewhere, but again, the game is running just about okay, but there's the point where it's just like, oh my God, things break. So yeah, you, you wanna make sure you get past that. So two things before we go any further while we let the phantom Phantoms just keep spawning because it looks it looks pretty insane seeing the two patterns. One you know one set's going clockwise, one is going counterclockwise. Um, the first one is that phantoms right now don't properly work in Minecraft Bedrock. Uh, they're going to be fixed in 1.6.1, but right now they don't really care about the player, so they just kind of stay in the sky. It's a really weird thing that there's a phantom update with. Uh, phantoms that don't 100% uh, work. And the second thing to keep in mind, by the way, you can see we've started to go from that, like everything's pretty much fine, but there's compromises. We're gonna go down below this. The second thing to keep in mind, um, so yeah, you can't get phantoms that will actually attack you right now. It's a lot harder to kill them because they don't attack you first, you know? Um, the second thing to keep in mind is we're doing this on an Xbox One X. However, regardless of what Xbox type you have, they're all gonna be the same. So we have 110 uh, uh, roughly right now. 100 is where you start running some issues. The <laughs> <laughs> the way they're flying, the patterns they're running into, the different heights, you can see how like having that many mobs being simulated on screen, it's starting to cause some issues, and I'm sure, again, we're gonna, uh, uh, things are only gonna start to get worse here. But yeah, to go back to my previous point, uh, this is done on Xbox One X. However, regardless of your Xbox One, they all run exactly the same right now. The 4K update for Minecraft, the one that's designed to make uh, take advantage of the Xbox One X, has not been released for Minecraft on, on the Bedrock platforms yet. And the reason behind that simply seems to just be like, well, I mean, they've got other things on their plate. Uh, they officially said that the you know the date for that would be sometime 2019, but again, we we uh, exactly when that happens is beyond us. So for now, even if you have an Xbox One X, the most powerful console that does exist. It runs like a regular Xbox One as far as Minecraft is concerned. So this test is for any Xbox One users and I guess anyone who has a similarly uh, you know, powered PC or anything like that. Just, just keep that in mind. So yeah, we're now approaching, what is this going to be? Uh, what, uh, 180, 190 separate phantoms. And interestingly enough, things are still going pretty okay. Let's actually fly into them because uh, again, the framework gets a bit worse up here. But like, it's really crazy to see this many phantoms. And also it's crazy to see how they seem to like randomly determine which way they're flying around. 
and they just kind of pick a circle based on that. However, again, because they are going to be locked onto the nearest player, if I move, a lot of the phantoms will move too, so it's important to like, uh, mostly to stay in one place. But yeah, you can, um, I, th I think this is a pretty crazy thing to, to, to dive into, because, um, it, like, like I said, theoretically in Minecraft, the way phantom spawning works is really, really strange. The chance for phantom spawning goes up by some, you know, like basically, uh, it goes up and up every day past the third day you don't stay awake, but because you have a higher and higher chance, more and more of these can spawn. Every, you know, like 60 to 70 seconds or something like that, you can have a new uh, set of phantom spawn, uh, phantom spawn in one to four groups, which means that after a certain point, after you've gone, you know, past uh, 12 days or something like that, uh, once you've gone to the point of almost certainty phantom spawning, if you just stay out all night, you will reach the point where, if and if you, you know, don't kill them because they're not coming after you, this is a realistic thing that can hit you. So when you get to, by the way, we've just gone to the point where everything's running at unbearable frame rates. We basically can't play the game. I can't unfly right now because it won't register the button impresses. So yeah, the number of phantoms that will break Minecraft Xbox One is 260. That is the official answer. When you see phantoms that start to look like this, you better start killing some of them quickly because once you have this many phantoms, you can either turn the game onto peaceful to kill them all or you can just let them ravage you forever. So there you go. Fun fact, we've officially answered the question. How many phantoms mostly break your Minecraft Xbox One? However, let's see how far we can go before the game literally breaks by doing, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, turn down our, our render distance just to make it so that the 100% of our game effort that can be run towards these phantoms is gonna be going towards them. So we're gonna turn our, uh, our render distance down from the Minecraft console previous limitation all the way down here. Get it get it to six render distance. If you've never seen six render distance, oh, I should turn down anti aliasing too, just while we're here, you know. Because uh, again, that, that does contribute some amount to. You can see, by the way, even the menu screen, it's like, it's, oh, we officially, we've gone to the point where frames are now less than one a second we're, we're watching Slideshow Minecraft. It's official. We've reached here. And yeah, uh, okay, so here we go. You can see, even at this stage, like we've improved things the tiniest bit, but the phantoms are going pretty wild. And this is uh, this is only at how many phantoms? Like 300, 400 maybe? We've reached, uh, so that's 320. Uh, 360 phantoms or so is causing this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast forward a little bit and see what happens if we just leave this for a while until the maximum number of sea pickles we even have to check this is transferred. What happens when you have a thousand phantoms in one world? Because if, if 100 is enough to cause some slowing, 300 is enough to 100% break things uh, to the point where you can barely play Minecraft, how, how many phantoms do you get before the game full on crashes? Let's open the chest now, because we won't be able to later. <laughs> Look how slow this is. We're now at over 750 phantoms, by the way, and it's still going just about solid. We're gonna run out of sea pickles soon, so I'd like to count this. I, I didn't think we'd get close to a thousand phantoms. So we are now a thousand phantoms and a thousand sea pickles deep into my, my little experiment here. And the most surprising thing to me is that the game didn't crash. The game, I mean, it functionally isn't working. Like, did you see how long it took me to close that chest? We're running at about a frame every other second or so. So like 0 0.6, 0 0.5 FPS, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, things are going pretty rough. However, the thing I wanna see is this, is this right here. So this really is almost a testament to like how uh, much more resource efficient the uh, the phantoms are than other mobs. Cause so many mobs, you know, like you get somewhere in the hundreds and just the game doesn't work in the slightest and it even crashes. I think it was 300 dogs that crashed the Minecraft world once. But the fact that I have a thousand phantoms all tracking my position, flying in this weird, uh, you know, different direction. There's not even any like optimization <laughs> or any, uh, you know, like group behavior that's going on. This is a thousand separate mobs all trying to fly around at the same time. And again, although we're functionally not playing the game, the fact that it's still spawning in new ones every uh, second or so, it's obviously been slowed down a bit. The fact that the game is running in the slightest, and if I want to, I can quit this world and come back in. That is a testament, I mean, can I quit the world? Let, let's try. But uh, that is a testament to uh, either the optimization of Minecraft or just the Phantom being less resource enti uh, entitled than anything else. I don't know for sure. I just know it's kind of fun to break Minecraft in this way. And a thousand Phantoms in Minecraft. Have you ever wanted to see it? Well now, you have. And also when we load it back into the world, it's way more likely to cause issues, so. Now we've backed out. I've proven we can lock down that slow frame rate to one world, but let's let's open the box again and let's see what happens. 
So yeah, the too long to watch version of this video is that if you don't kill the phantoms above your head, bad things are gonna happen. And it looks like in this case, extremely bad things are gonna happen. And you might wanna <laughs> watch out for that. Maybe, just, just maybe, I, I don't know for sure. Um, yeah, this is mostly just fun. Uh, the Xbox One can handle a thousand phantoms and that's all you really <laughs> need to know. Uh, but does it handle it well? I mean, nothing can handle a thousand phantoms well. But it was fun regardless. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Just a little bit of a fun tester of the 1.6 update. Uh, like it if you did like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. Oh wait, I've got an idea. If we set the time today, uh, let's see if we can burn them all. So this is what happens when you set the time today. <laughs> as, as we all do know, phantoms don't like the day. And theoretically, there's gonna be about another 10 seconds of pain. <laughs> As, th as this just happened, and then then there can be a happy ending. In case seeing Minecraft run at frame uh, uh, slideshow mode is not a happy ending for you, maybe what it is is seeing all of the phantoms slowly, painfully die. Also, you know, honestly, this is one of the weirdest spectacles I've ever seen. I think, like, just <laughs> oh, we still can't see anything, but like, just seeing all of this appear and disappear into nothing, it's pretty cool actually. It's uh, it's the perfect cyclical end to the video, because as as all crazy things must come to an end, so must this video. If you did enjoy it, oh actually no wait, they're not, they're not dying, I guess because like, the game ticks are running slower, the amount of like fire it takes to kill them will take a few seconds, but <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video, give it a like if you liked it, give it a share if you really liked it, subscribe to notification turn on if you want to see more videos like this, uh, and on Thursday, we'll be streaming again, every Tuesday, Thursday, as well as on Saturday, we're doing a member UHC. There's a lot of fun stuff coming up on the channel. Look at that. Okay, they're finally dead, besides these last four. But the craziest thing to me is that even after their deaths, there's still a little bit of a delay before everything's okay. But then after that, things are a okay. So, there we go. We have now officially- oh, it's the new ones that spawned. We have now officially proven that Minecraft can handle a thousand phantoms. <laughs> And uh, yeah, as always, with all good happy endings, uh, make sure you hit the bell to give me my happy ending. We should probably work on phrasing on this channel. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.